Hello and welcome back and in today's video I want to show you how to upgrade your TerraMaster NAS from TOS 4 to TOS 5. It's a really big update from the brand and TOS 5 unlike other surface level updates where you would upgrade to a new version, version 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, whatever, version TOS 5 is such a big system upgrade that upgrading to it is not as easy as in previous versions where you check updates check the internet and then just install it like a casual update. TOS 5 is like upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 8 to Windows 10. It is a big whole system upgrade. And because of it, the procedure for updating isn't as straightforward as a two click upgrade. In order to do it, you have to upgrade the entire system from the ground up. Now, a lot of you who have seen the updates and the guides being issued by TerraMaster and other sites are understandably slightly nervous. One, because the methodology of the update includes you going to options listed as factory default or reset to factory default, which let's face it, are really scary terms. But on top of that, many of them have been keen to highlight sentences such as reinstalling the system will theoretically not delete data on your drive, but they recommend having backups. And indeed, even during the beta process, they went to painful lengths to highlight that the system, once again, is not designed to delete any of your data, and your data should be okay, but still nonetheless, make sure you've got your backups in order, as you can see there. So one, obviously you should always have um, your backups in order anyway, but also, what you're about to do today, if you do it wrong, it can potentially delete your data. So before proceeding with this guide and emulating any of the things I do today, just make sure that your data is backed up. So what you need to do when you're running TOS 4 is go a slightly different route to the thing that I'm going to show you. Now, on mine, for example, I would go into the control panel, and if you're running TOS 4, the screens that you see will be ever so slightly different. You need, if we zoom in here, to head into the following options. Go into control panel, then the general settings, then into update and recovery, and then into restore factory defaults. Now, once you go in, to restore factory defaults, you will be given the option to reset the system back to the installation of the OS. Bear in mind, your data is still going to be in the storage area. Now, for those of you running TOS 4, <clears throat> you can have a look here on what your control panel will be showing you. And if you head down to these options, you'll be able to find the restore to factory default setting there. Now, before proceeding with this upgrade to TOS 5 and initiating the factory default restore, make sure that you've downloaded the latest version of TOS 5. This file here, available on their forum and should be linked in the description, will download version, the latest version available of TOS. But do bear in mind that it is currently only supported on the x86 series of devices now that is systems that are running intel components so if you're running an arm or arm based processor from the likes of realtek or marvell you won't be able to take advantage of this update yet so make sure you are running an x86 or intel processor again you can find out compatibility on the support section of terramaster once you've downloaded that, you also may need to download <clears throat> the latest version of TNAS for PC. This is the tool that you use to find the NAS on your local area network. Now this application, as good as it is, I do find that I personally would recommend a tool known as Advanced IP Scanner. This is a tool that's completely for free and allows you to scan your local area network and find devices for you to patch in via the IP. This is what I typically use to find cameras or NASes on my local area environment. It's a completely free tool and I'll try to link to it in the description. So the next thing we need to do after you've clicked that box there is to click apply. 
Now, in the case of my NAS, as you can see, I've already got a huge structure of files and folders here. So make sure you take note of the fact that I've got my data here ready to go. From here, I'm going to click Apply. The system will count down and warn me that what we're about to do is going to reset the whole system. Click Confirm and re-enter your password. Again, if you are running TOS um, 4.1 and higher, what you see on screen will differ slightly. Click Confirm and the system will begin to go back to the factory default installation screen. Make sure you take a note of where you downloaded the TOS 5.0 file, the .ins file there. If it's in your download section, make sure you've got it there, good to go. Now we just wait for the system to restart and reboot. If the IP happens to change, then make sure to use that TNAS application to find the NAS again on your network, or go ahead and use Advanced IP Scanner to find the NAS listed by a company known as Noontech on your network and patch in again. Let's fast forward a few minutes. Once the timer has counted down, there's every possibility that you're going to be greeted with this screen here, a loading bar that may overhang. Now, this is almost certainly due to the IP that your NAS is on having changed. So do go ahead and either utilize the advanced IP scanner or take advantage of TOS's new TNAS application to find the new IP location of your NAS on the network. Either use the TNAS app as you normally would or an advanced IP scanner, click the icon here to scan for the NAS. Now, if the IP's identity hasn't changed, another way in which you can force the system to display correctly here is to go ahead, delete the port ID on the end there and replace it with bootloader and this text here. If you replace that there, then if we refresh this page here, it will then kick into the bootloader. As you can see, loading into the boot server here will count down, make sure the IP is indeed correct. And in that 30 second countdown, you will then be greeted with the bootloader where we can inject our new TOS operating system. After this countdown is completed, it will have to go ahead and re-verify the drives. Now, it's very important during this process that one particular screen is clicked correctly. As you can see, it's found the NAS. It invites you to only have one LAN port connected. Click Start. From here, the system is now going to have to check if the drives inside are compatible or not. Click Next. Really important that you click Custom. Do not click default. Select custom and it will now check each of the individual drives to verify that they are compatible and in healthy working order. Depending on the complexity of the drives you select and the scale of their capacity, it will take a different amount of time. Once this is completed and it knows that all the drives are ready to go, go ahead and click next. You don't have to wait until all the drives have been verified, but I would still double check, at least for the sake of the, uh, your proceeding with the installation of TOS 5 on an existing operation, just to check that your drives are still in healthy, compatible working order. Once all the drives have been listed as good, go ahead and click Next. As you can see, it's going to delete the data on those NVMEs that I've got inside. Do bear that in mind. If you don't have NVMEs, don't worry, the process will be largely the same. Click Next, and then from there, you can go ahead and browse and find that file that we downloaded earlier. As you can see, there is our file there. Click Open, and then from there, click Next. It will now upload that installation file to the NAS and begin the installation of the TOS5 operating system on this NAS. We're now going to fast forward to the completion of this installation. When the dial reaches 100%, your NAS will beep 
at least three times. This will signify that the system is rebooting with its brand new operating system ready to rock. Now once again, do bear in mind that when this countdown reaches zero, you are not necessarily going to be on exactly the same IP. So bear that in mind and once again, use that TNAS application from TerraMaster, the new version, not the old version, or as I recommend, use advanced IP scanner. Let the countdown complete, and then when it's completed, go ahead and click the scanning of uh, either application in order to see if the NAS has reappeared online. I'm clicking it here to show you how quick or how slow it's going to be. Once again, when this is done, you should boot back into your brand new updated TNAS version 5 and all of your data should be intact. Let's fast forward. Once the page has completed or you've adjusted to the brand new IP, as you can see on mine where the IP didn't change, you will be invited to create a super user. Now this is because the admin account on TOS5 is now completely disabled and you're going to need to create this brand new user in order to interact with the system with super user settings. Now if we go ahead and create our brand new user, Again, I will give them their identity and password. You will then be invited to provide a security email, just like you did in the first time setup. If you've already provided an email, stick it in there or attach a brand new one. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and put Robbie at NAS Compares. But once again, do bear in mind that you cannot skip this step. If you don't enter an email address and you try to proceed moving forward, the system will still ask you to proceed with a new one or skip the verification completely. For now, we can go ahead and continue with the remainder of this installation. We move on to our new screen and we'll be invited to sign up to the new TNC that are related to TerraMaster's TOS5 system. As you can see, the system immediately runs a scan with the security advisor and if we choose to, we can go into the file manager and there are all of our folders from earlier, all still intact. Do bear in mind that some applications will have been disabled during the update process and you can go ahead and install new applications as well as reactivate existing applications if you choose. Applications that you've already been using up to this point should still be installed, but TOS 5 applications which have now become available or changed from beta to full will reappear here. But once again, and I will reiterate this a million times, make sure you have had your backups in place before proceeding with this update. And that's about it. We've now upgraded our NAS to the latest version of TOS 5. I'm well aware that I was already running a TOS 5 system with the beta during the start of this, but pretty much all of the steps I've shown you today will help you move from TOS 4 to TOS 5. The last thing I would highlight is make sure to refresh the cache in your browser. So in my case, Control F5, but the different browser or operating systems you use may make all the difference and this will allow you to steady up your browser to accept any kind of new page ver variations. Otherwise, some icons that you choose to display or some pages may not be displayed as accurately as intended. Once again, some features and services do seem to have not made the transition and it's worth remembering that you can, before running your backup, head into the system's configuration and back up your configuration if you choose to but do remember that there's every possibility that some of those featured systems and services will be locked to tos4 otherwise i hope you found this video helpful and if you have do let me know in the comments there should be links soon to the review of tos5 and other resources and guides i've published as well as the links to the downloads and more that we've used for today's upgrade. Click like if you've enjoyed the video because it helps me understand what I'm doing right. Click subscribe if you want to stay um, aware of what's happening with the changes with TerraMaster and use the free advice section linked in the description to NAS Compares as well as the buy links if you're looking at buying your TerraMaster NAS and want to support our platform. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.